As the 2015 NBL Canada playoffs continue, the Atlantic Division features two teams that have taken two entirely different paths to get to this point. The Halifax Rainmen will be squaring off against the Island Storm. Halifax faced the Miracles in the opening round of the playoffs, while the Storm matched up with St. John. The Rainmen beat Moncton in four games by an average margin of 30 points per game, while the Storm needed a buzzer beater in the closing seconds of Game 5 to move on. Both teams come into the Atlantic Division Finals well rested. It would be 10 full days since Halifax last saw action. Meanwhile, the Storm are coming off a 7-day break themselves. The Raymond won the Atlantic Division on the strength of a 10-game winning streak to close out the regular season. The division top spot was owned by the Storm for most of the second half of the regular season, until Halifax went on their incredible run to take it over, which included beating PEI twice in that stretch. The Island didn't finish the regular season exactly how they would have hoped, dropping 7 of their last 10 games and are coming out of a tough series with St. John. Having said that, the Island Storm entered the division finals in familiar territory as they come in as a second seed, much like they did last year en route to an NBL Canada Finals. Their series will open up with a pair of games in Halifax at the Scotiabank Center, where the Rainmen went 11-6 on the regular season. But as we know, the playoffs are an entirely different monster, and proof can be found in the first game of the Rainmen Moncton series when they lost the opening contest. These two teams split their season series four games apiece, and as the numbers will reveal, both squads are evenly matched. Halifax will look to take advantage of their size on the board, where they manhandle the Miracles, averaging over 50 boards per contest, including 24 at the offensive end. They do much of their damage down low in the painted area, and as a result, have shot over 50% in three of their playoff contests. The Storm, who are a strong rebounding team in their own right, need to control that paint to give themselves a shot in this series. The Island are a high-volume three-point shooting team, and although they haven't shot the ball particularly well from downtown, they have explosive scorers on their roster that could get hot at any given moment and make this a tough series for the Halifax defenders. Both teams like to push the ball to the floor, so expect to see a lot of back-and-forth action, high-energy play, and a few big dunks.